one of the things I want to focus on is this little tiny thing sticking out underneath the nubs. It's designed to protect the Teflon from coming off. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with Trangia as much as I do with Microsoft. Um, I love the concept of their product ideas, but in a lot of ways, their quality control is really lacking in some serious areas. Anyways, this is my second pan. And if you can see, the nonstick comes off of the, uh, off the nub. Because it's always rubbing up against the inside. Now this one has been protected pretty good. I've had this pan for quite a while now, so it's just starting. Plus, you know, you get the nicks all the way around from using the metal thing. Uh, personally, they should put some kind of silicone or something on here to help protect the edges of the nonstick pans. This is true for the 25 and the 27. This is no good because what happens is it actually flakes off. My last one, it flaked off so bad, I was peeling it off with my fingernail. That's, that's non-stick. You don't want to be getting that in your food. I don't know what to say. Okay, so here's my old one. It's kind of beat up, so I'm going to get rid of that. I just made a new one, okay? And the idea here is when we make this, you got two sets of bends you need to be concerned about. This first set of bends, okay? So that you don't want this any longer or any shorter. Otherwise, if it's longer, it's gonna bow in the center. If it's any shorter, you're gonna lose the length on the tabs going on or going around the edge. So the idea is you got one bend here, comes up the sidewall, and another bend like this. Pretty simple. Get it across, boom, and that's the way it should be. That's the way it should fit. So Let's make one from scratch. I'll show you what I did. Materials are simple and easy. I've got a roll of any any kind of tape will do. I have a Gorilla tape. This particular tape makes it easier because it's a two... <laughs> well, that's a weird size. It's over two and three quarters and not quite two and seven eighths. It's like a 30 second under. That's weird. Anyways, so we'll call it we'll call it two and three quarter inch tape. So I know it's upside down to you. Um, we got ourselves a pair of scissors. And of course, I have a splicer, which makes life easy. So the width of this, you want to be careful. You don't want it too wide, and you don't want it too thin. It needs to be wide enough to cover this nub. But it doesn't want to be so wide, too wide, because then what happens is you it fights trying to get the radi this radius and then this radius. I found that an inch and a quarter seems to be the magic number. Oh, so what I got here is this, I already cut a piece off of this, but this is just a basic eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And we are going to cut, actually, I almost made a mistake there. This is, this is the eight and a half. We're gonna use our length of the strip wants to be eight and a half inches. All right, and then make it, Inch and a quarter. Oh, I got all kinds of bugs flying around here. Should have done this in the house. But I like being outdoors. All right, inch and a quarter. Bada bing, bada bong. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we've got that. All I do is bring it close to the edge of the table so I can get a length on my tape. I'm just going to eyeball it. Just 
just eyeballing it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, well, it did it. <laughs> okay. Trick here. I'm gonna stand above it. I'm gonna line up the ends. I'm gonna put tape down over half of it. Like that. Over. This is the tricky part. I'm going to get one side and run it down. If you get both sides stuck at the same time, you're going to get a crease in it and it's going to bow up on you. You don't want that to happen. Okay. Last, last bit. Not tonight, pal. <laughs> Don't be messing with me. Okay. A little bit of a crease right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. Okay. What I'm going to do is put a little nubby on there, eyeball it, kind of get it to match, Whoop. Well, not exactly. Not too shabby. What you're going to do? I'm gonna put it in here like this, and I'm eyeballing an even amount on each side, sticking up. Most important thing to do is once you get that close, get the crease in like your thumb maybe, and then stretch it. And make sure you get the crease. You don't want <clears throat> this length to be too long or too short. If it's too long, it's gonna bow up like this. If it's too short, you're gonna have a problem trying to close it. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling, I'm pulling like this, increasing it with my fingernail. Get that crease, pushing it real hard. All right, now I got that crease. Do is fold it over. If I remember right, that should be about an inch and a half. Yep. and a half. If the paper was shorter, that would not be an inch and a half. So. Back. Again, I'm just putting the crease in there at my thumb. Thumbnail. side you want to you want a very defined fold so that every time when you go to use this thing it just it finds itself okay there it is now when this drops in you just hold it right in place see just like that now we'll leave that there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Push on this. I'm gonna bend this around. 
keep my finger up against there, bend this around, and what I'm doing is I'm pulling it and just trying to create the crease underneath. This crease is what's important as well. Put this around, do the same thing here, bring it around. Again, I'm pushing in with this fingernail, comes up the sidewall nice and tight. Crease there. Okay. This bend, I want to. Same thing here. See how it wants to jump out? That's because this needs to be a very defined crease. If it's not extremely defined, you're going to be fighting that for, the, for a little while. to hold it we find the nub line it up pull it over pull it over boom that's it you may you know it, it does this will tend to move so as long as you don't allow it to move in your knapsack or whatever you got it carrying in you'll be fine and there it is Take it apart. All I usually do is just grab it by that, pop it. Got a beetle in there. I guess I'm gonna fire up the burner and cook a beetle. One more time. We line up the nubs. You're holding it with your fingers like this. Put it down. Boom. That's it. And that's all she wrote. So now. Let's get the burner. Let's put everything in here and see how this works. Okay. So when I pack mine up, I cut my bag almost in half. I don't need all that extra bag in there. What I do is push down, give myself extra, so, so there's not a lot of pressure on here because it pokes through. It happens. What I do is I, I'm holding that down, I just make a little twist like that. Hold it over. And what I do is I just put a rubber band on it just to hold it down. I don't know how anybody else does it, but that's the way I do it. Now it just sits down in here like that. I've got my little piece of fat wood, which, you know, if I've got a live fire someplace, I, that helps to light the uh, burner. Or I can take this, since this is a small one, it fits in here pretty good. Okay. And I have one of these um, Vargo, which is really nice for, it works out perfect for the mini. So I keep that with me. That sits in here just like this. All right, here comes the tricky part. Once again, we're just gonna line up with the nubs, okay? Hold that right there. Boom, boom. And there you go. And pop it apart, I usually pull on that. That was my old pan. Let me grab my new one. So again, this goes in there first. Like This is important to keep this because this helps to hold it down. And obviously you want that to help protect the inside of the pan as well. Rotate it to the nub. Okay. Line it up. Line it up. cake and it doesn't you know like I say it this, the pan can move 
So, I mean, this it can move inside your backpack. So you have to be careful of that. Um, you know, one way to get around that, if you wanted, you get a couple of heavy, <clears throat> heavy duty rubber bands, you know, um, these aren't real heavy duty ones. This one's real heavy duty than the other one. But if you did something like that, that would, that definitely tends to reduce how far it can spin or where it's gonna go. That's my hack. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace.